Welcome to Health Connection. I'm Chris Wilgus with Kettering Health Network. We're sitting here today with Dr. Patrick Lytle of the Kettering Physician Network. Thank you for joining us here today. Glad to be here. Dr. Lytle's a cardiologist, and what we want to talk about today is how women and men experience different heart attack symptoms, or, or not even heart attack, but chest pain symptoms, right? Well, yeah, men and women are totally different. Um, classic symptoms for a man is more of a pressure or a heaviness in their chest. It generally comes on with exertion. Um, will go away with rest. It can be associated with shortness of breath or nausea um, or sweatiness. But in a female, females tend to get chest discomfort or coronary artery disease a little bit later in life. But their symptoms are more um, atypical. They have more shortness of breath associated. They don't necessarily get that heavy pressure sensation that a male will get. They, um, or they'll have more atypical symptoms, more into like the right arm or the left arm, and just the arms bothering them or their shoulders bothering them, versus a man where a man definitely gets more of a throat tightness or a heavy tightness in the chest. Just because they're tougher than men, is that what the deal is? <laughs> um, well, some of that is um, probably true. Um, part of uh, why women and the big push for women in heart disease and more of awareness is that women tend to um, ignore their symptoms. Um, part of it is because of, of um, some people would argue that it's an innate quality in women, is because they're, they're, they, they take care of the home. It was more important for the man to be out working, getting his job, and now obviously in, in our social life now that's totally changed. But women tend to, um, they do tend to ignore it. Um, it's more important to take care of the kids, it's more important to take care of the, um, the male, than it is to take care of themselves. So they always present generally later than men. Is there a little bit of a, they, they don't want to come in and find out that it was nothing and they wasted the ER doctor's time? Yes, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of that going on as well. Women tend to, um, they, don't, they don't want to waste anybody's time. And they also don't want to look like they're complaining. So they will tend to hold off on their symptoms quite a bit. What preventative measures can women take? Are they the same as, as men, just living that healthy lifestyle? What do women do to prevent heart disease, that chest pain coming on? Well, what women can do is, is very similar to men. First of all, if they have a family history of heart disease, they absolutely need to be checked. The second thing is, just like a male, they need to know their cholesterol panel. In women, the interesting thing about women is when women develop heart disease is when their lipid profile changes. And generally when they reach menopause, either surgically or naturally, their HDL, which is your good cholesterol, lowers. And within two years of hitting menopause, women's risk for heart disease equals that of a man. So when a woman hits, has premature heart disease, they generally have a low HDL. And that is attributed to a family history of heart disease. Estrogen has been known to project, protect women because of it raises the HDL. Um, so number one, make sure you know what your cholesterol profile, especially if you have a family history. Number two, which probably may be more important, number one, don't smoke. And number three is definitely stay active. If you're diabetic, make sure your sugars are controlled. If you're hypertensive, make sure your blood pressure is controlled. But the bottom line is continue to stay active. This has been Health Connection. Keep watching for more videos. Subscribe to the audio podcast on iTunes and find doctors like Dr. Lytle here on KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.